Computer science is one of the most popular degrees and it makes no sense. Just from a pure number standpoint, I spent nearly $100,000 on my computer science degree, even though I graduated college two years early. And nowadays, everyone and their mom is going into comp sci, then chat GBTing their way through a degree just to end up with no job and a bunch of debt. So now I scratch my head along with you, is computer science even worth it anymore? And if it's not, what's the alternative? So first let's talk about the elephant in the room. AI, chat GBT, does it make computer science useless? Will AI replace software engineers? And to that, my answer is yes. AI will replace some software engineers, but AI will replace all programmers. Now, you're probably confused, still scratching your head. Let me explain myself. As of now, ChatGPT is amazing at taking a prompt and coding. You know how you use it to cheat on your little coding assignments? But where it fails is the human element of software engineers. It can't make design choices, deliberate with tech customers, or make product resource allocation decisions. And it's these exact things which differentiate a simple programmer from a full-fledged software engineer. And this is the difference between someone who will get replaced by AI versus someone who doesn't. So basically you're safe picking a career in tech and as long as there's a decent amount of human interactive elements and business decisions, you won't get replaced. For example, product managers. They're in charge of figuring out customer requirements and working with engineers to actually deliver on those requirements. They will never get replaced by AI. But if you're just a person who inputs data into an Excel file, performs math calculations, or if you're just a software engineer that literally only knows how to code and nothing beyond that, you will 100% get replaced. Placed. So really the question you should ask is can you make computer science worth it rather than is computer science worth it for you? And speaking about if it's worth it for you, let's talk about the degree itself. Let's dive into it. So I went to Georgia Tech for my bachelor's and master's in computer science. My first year in undergrad was pretty solid. I took a few math classes like discrete math, linear algebra, and stats. I also took a bunch of coding classes like object-oriented programming, data structures, assembly, and software principles. The only exposure I had beforehand was was AP computer science. So my knowledge in the field went from like this to this in under a year. So I was like genuinely impressed. And I was like, dang, computer science is worth it. And then I had my first software engineering internship at Amazon my freshman year. And it was exciting because it was a big name company my first year and it helps out a ton in your career. But this actually turned out to be a huge eye-opening moment that really made me question if my degree was all a waste. So you see, my degree was in computer science, but my career was in software engineering. And although there is some overlap, the fields are tremendously different. In computer science, my knowledge went like this, to this, but I still had a huge mountain of knowledge in software engineering that I actually hadn't learned. You see, computer science is all about the theoretical foundations of computing, what makes the magic behind your computer actually work. I literally took a class on computer architecture in which we learned how simple operations like adding two numbers actually occurs in a low level of a computer. Software engineering, on the other hand, is very high level, developing, maintaining, and testing applications. So for example, a software engineer or a team of software engineers might create something like Amazon.com. They'll write the HTML, CSS, JavaScript code to create an engaging and responsive website. Do they need to know exactly what happens low level in a computer? No, none of that. I mean, the more knowledge that they have, the better they might perform, but it doesn't really matter because that's not where the overlap is. So why do computer science majors even become software engineers if they aren't really related? I have no clue. I mean, you could technically just major in software engineering or just do a boot camp or certification if you really did want to become a software engineer instead of going through the whole computer science degree. But if you do decide to do that, you lose out on these four huge benefits of a computer science degree that is pretty much the only reasons I recommend people even get this degree. One, so this degree, computer science, it really helps you think. So something really fundamental about computer science is at core, you are a problem solver. Whether that be using your low level knowledge of assembly to develop a calculator or to use your JavaScript knowledge to build a website, there's always a task that needs to be done and writing code is the fastest way to solve these tasks. But it's not just problem solving, it's efficient problem solving. Like sure, if I wanted to print hello world 25 times, I could literally print hello world 25 times or I can write what we call a for loop. Or if I'm a software engineer at Amazon and my site is gonna be used by billions of people, I need to make sure it's well tested that all these nice new features can actually be handled by the load of the system. So it's solving big problems with big constraints efficiently. Two, you learn 
learn how to learn well. Computer science is one of the hardest degrees with the highest dropout rate, close to about 10%. So yes, one in every 10 people you see in your little freshman to intro to programming class will not graduate with that degree. It's hard, it's just hard to understand. These concepts, compilers, SDKs, or just being able to think like a programmer is super difficult. So many people struggle in their first couple years, but towards the end of the second year, beginning of third year, things just start to click. They pick up coding languages pretty easily. People start doing coding projects. They start getting internships a little more easily. After you pretty much pass that big learning curve, things start to go downhill after that. And so personally, even though I had no JavaScript knowledge before I actually started working on the current job that I have after I graduated college, it was not that hard for me. I had learned Java and Python really well in university, so it was easy to pick up this language. It was just a change in syntax. And so like really when you have your roots really solidly understood through your computer science degree, you grow very, very tall. Three, building your network. And this is something that's very personal to me because I have benefited so much from this, so much from being at a school like Georgia Tech and having gotten the opportunities that I have. I know so many people all across the United States that I went to college with and even internationally at top tech companies. And so pretty much anytime I need a referral or if I wanted to start like a tech startup business, I have so many people just at my disposal that I've networked with. Additionally, just being in a tech city like Atlanta in which we had regular career fairs in which all the big name tech companies would come and we had Microsoft, Google, NCR literally right across the street. I had so many networking opportunities at my disposal. And in fact, the two internships that I did when I was in college, one of which actually turned into my full-time current job, I got because I had a referral. There aren't many places that can replace it. University is one of the few times in which you have so many like-minded people all conglomerated into one similar area who have a very common goal. This is the biggest benefit of college, probably even more than the actual like educative things that you learn is part of your computer science degree. Four, and this is once again a huge one, but the ability to explore different fields within the tech industry. You see, most boot camps or certifications are very niche. Like sure, you do a software engineering boot camp, you'll study a couple months, learn everything about software engineering as best as you can, but what if you don't actually want to become a software engineer or you're not sure about the other fields. You don't know where you want to go into. Do you want to go into the data route, the cyber route, the systems route? There's just so many different possibilities. You're not going to do a boot camp in every single one. So it doesn't really make sense to not go to university because in university, you have the best options to explore the different fields. For example, you can do an internship one summer and then be like, hey, I actually don't want to be a data engineer. I want to be a data scientist. Or you can do research with a professor and be like, hey, this this thing known as AI or machine learning, it's actually not as cool as it sounds. In fact, I personally had experience with this in which I did an AI research project for a semester in college and I was like, this is so underwhelming. AI and machine learning is not what I imagined. And I actually ended up changing my degree structure entirely. And in fact, I talk about it all in this Business Insider article that I'll put in the description below. And as a personal piece of advice between me and you, when you are a university student, especially a freshman, don't get caught up on wanting to be this like big tech software engineer. Sure, that sounds very lucrative and it's a good goal for a lot of people, but the best thing that you can do for your career, especially early on, is to try out different fields. Do your research on them, do projects within them, do internships, and then later on your junior year or senior year, or even if you decide to do a master's, that's when you specialize. But if for some reason you already have like an area that you wanna focus on, then the degree doesn't make sense. In that case, you just do a boot camp or certification, if that makes sense. So for very niche things that you're already certain on, do a boot camp, do certification. But if you just want to explore a lot of different areas, then a degree makes the most sense. So in conclusion, is a computer science degree worth it in 2024? Like I said, that's a terrible, terrible question. Instead, ask, will you be able to make a computer science degree worth it for you in 2024? Do you have the desire to learn different things within the tech industry? Do you have the desire to do high class research? Or do you just want to be a big tech software engineer? Or do you just want to go into one particular area within tech? So really the answer is up to you. I hope this video kind of clarifies different advantages of having a degree versus potentially not going that route. And if you like this content, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're curious of a complete breakdown of my computer science degree, you might like this video right here.